Do have a camera? We're going to give you that job. <laughs> do I have to do anything? Or? It's already recording. Excellent. I can't <laughs> This is why she brings us. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, it's got some... Time for your close up, is it? Yes. Yeah, we'll get some, some, group, some group pictures, might be nice. Uh, so, if we do maybe a picture with the raising, once we're, before we're actually ready to raise, maybe we'll have a quick intro. Okay, welcome, thank you for coming, everything. Absolutely. And then we'll go from there. And then we'll, whatever I'm going to do, maybe say a few words. Sure. Do you, want, do you want to lead first? You want me to kind of MC? Yeah, if you want to do that. Yeah. We're going to symbolically have two or three of us. Yeah, we'll you want to leave it down? you want to have a quick run on how, how to raise it? Yes, please do. Oh, okay. This is how you do flag raising. It's 101. I'm going to pull up past. First, you need a flag. I'm just going to pull up past this. How much do I get pull up in it? Yeah. All you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're just going to pull that Peter thing yanker. Uh, right? Raise it up and then... Uh, want these? Yeah, um, <laughs> you can unravel them in both, you know. How about we get, we'll get one of the trans flags too. Yes, there you go. You all right, in. I'll, what? Oh, I'm okay doing this. Yeah. I've done all kinds of, you can go. I've done enough pictures. Did you want to get into the picture? I've had more than enough. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'll... Do you want me to hold it? <laughs> you want to hold my purse? Sure, I've, yeah, I've been, been trained while. well. Yeah. <laughs> I look awkward, but I'll do it. Okay, so hey, everybody, get people in. Try, try to get closer together, please. Snuggling, boys, you want to... Snuggling around the way. It's, it's, it's uh, more of a maturing thing. <laughs> okay, everybody... I need you guys to get a little bit closer. We can snuggle up. Okay. Big smile. Actually, let me get my plunges for her. We'll get into this later, but... Uh, oh, God. These are the two colors of the transgender flags, and you do have to put up a photograph sometimes, so you never want to be without your <laughs> Okay, everybody look at me. Good boy. Everybody look at me. Look at the camera. Say cheese. We're better than St. John's. 
Oh, sweet. Thank you. Now, how about, are you good to go? Um, okay. Any other cameras? Ready to actually yeah, speak? Yeah, just Should we appreciate it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to have a hand yeah. in this too? Okay. You have to tell me what to do, okay? Okay, okay everybody, we're raising the flag. Third time in Gander. Nice day. Innovative. If it's okay with everyone, we could maybe march to the Women's <laughs> Center holding <laughs> rainbow flags. Just a thought. Um, I don't know if we've ever done that before here, but it might be fun. Plus, we want to walk down the street holding in the flags. We have a few extras. Um, I guess we'll officially open the, the speeches portion uh, and, and turn it over to our Deputy Mayor. And thank you for coming out and welcoming all of us here. Um, it's great to be able to do something like this in a city like Canada. We're doing this all over the, over the province, so I'll turn the floor over to you. Can Thank I say you. a few words? Not, uh, not a lot to say. I, I um, you know, you grow up in, in various communities and you have a sense of, of, uh, of diversity. And, and I think the challenge sometimes is that um, we want our diversity to match us, and um, that's not the way the world is built. You know? and so I, I really appreciate the opportunity of being able to do this. I think, uh, in my mind, Gander does represent a, um, a community that historically uh, is maybe a little bit more cosmopolitan in some ways than other places in the land because of the nature of the community. So I'm just happy to be here and to welcome everybody and um, you know it's 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 small actions sometimes that that affect big change and so um, yeah thanks for everybody for coming out and um, formally doing this it's, it's great Actually, when, when um, I started to send stuff out for uh, Pride Week, I thought, you know, you never know until you try something. And so I sent out the information to St. John's as well. And then I got a hit and Jennifer called, and I'm like, oh, wow, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I did. I ran next door to Anne Marie, for Anne Marie, and I said, guess what? <laughs> so then we immediately looked at Truly, how we could capitalize on it, because like as as um, Cyril said, it's small steps. But I think when you do start with small steps, people realize that they're not totally isolated. And if somebody else can do it, you know what? Maybe I can do that at some point. So it's all about baby steps, you know, at at your comfort level. And once you start doing that, and uh, you get used to it, and you're willing to try something else. And I think that's where we're at. Everybody's given a chance to be who they are. Here to hang out, but what I will say is that it's nice to see that the events last year the flag went up and there was there was 
a much less people. And now this year we have a, a bigger turnout, and there's children, and the, you know, town councilors and everything. And next year, hopefully it'll be an even bigger thing. And then hopefully we'll get to a point where you can do, we can do a march down there and, and all that stuff. So uh, to me, it's just this wonderful progress, and I'm so happy to be from a town where we're doing this now, especially in uh, rural Newfoundland, as we would call it, right? I think this is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I thank everyone for coming. It's good. Great. I guess we'll move on to our speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Who forgot to write a speech? <laughs> No, but uh, seriously, uh, I'm a native Nova Scotian who's lived most of my life in Toronto, and I found out I was transgendered, so I moved to Newfoundland. So <laughs> not exactly the path most people would take. Um, but uh, I used to do a lot of traveling down the states, and now people say, "Well, where's Newfoundland?" I say, "Do you remember 9/11?" Yes. Well, that Newfoundland's where a lot of those planes came from. A lot of them came to a town called Gander. Uh, so. It's, it's, a, it's an important historic place, and I think it's important uh, that the diversity of the world is reflected and seen in any town, no matter how big or small it happens to be. Uh, if you've got 10,000 people here, you've definitely got LGBT people here, whether they're publicly out or not, that's, I guess, the challenge. Seven years ago, I moved to St. John. It seemed I was the only trans person there. And uh, I showed up at Pride, and nobody knew what to make of trans? Well, what, what exactly is this? It's like, I don't know, I'm just starting this. <laughs> so I quickly kind of learned, okay, there's an ed, there's, I hate the word ignorance, but it's more of an educational and a learning curve, and some people are going to be negative, but there's going to be those that want to learn and understand. And almost immediately I was kind of thrown into this role of, okay, we got to educate. LGBT, well, what is this T, and how is it different? Now I look around St. John's and we, we had 25 trans people show up to our various events yesterday to, to raise flags. We had our, our very own trans demonstration and, and trans march, becoming only the fourth city in Canada to do that. And uh, I guess on that note, I will introduce officially, there is a trans flag that uh, I don't know if anyone's familiar with it, but uh, transition is obviously the concept of switching either gender or sex or both. And the white kind of represents the in-between, the transition phase. And you can hold the flag upside down, and it's not upside down, meaning you can go one way or the other. And you can go as far as you want, or only a little bit. You can be in a gray area. Um, of course, we already mentioned plungers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people like to refer to me as a shit stirrer. <laughs> I like to think that's because I get things done. And uh, trans is an issue that's just so misunderstood just because there's not a lot of information out there about it. Um, there's some old psychiatric quacks that are 40 years old that wanted to throw us all in loony bins and do sick experiments on us. And I think we finally come far enough to realize, no, that's not the case. In 1973, being gay was uh, taken out of the mental illness thing. It's deemed not mental illness, it's a, a common human mystic thing. Um, that was the same year that trans people were invented, apparently, and we became mentally ill. <laughs> 1973, most of the year I was born. I've been around a while, but... I guess, uh, I guess that brings us to the concept of pride and how it's a balancing act between celebrating the amazing accomplishments we obtained for, for equal rights. Um, I think Newfoundland was one of the first to recognize same-sex marriage, and uh, they honored the 10-year anniversary of that event uh, yesterday in St. John's at the flag raising there, and uh, we finally got on board with human rights for trans people. Gender identity and gender expression is now added into our Human Rights Act, and the big plus is it's no longer a political issue. It used to be an NDP versus liberal versus conservative thing. All three parties supported this. Um, and that really makes me feel happy because we've gotten beyond the political part. We're all human beings now. Now we got to look at our health policies and make sure that we understand that trans people require, in some cases, very costly and challenging medical procedures. And the stigma of society that makes it even tougher for them to earn the money and pay for these things. And, uh, the other major issue we're still fighting is uh, the right to hold identification documents. Um, 
lag behind the new plans, you know, the Ontario's and the Alberta's and the British Columbia's uh, require too much to change your ID. You don't have an ID that matches who you are, you're going to have a tough time in this society. Your privacy is being breached every time you go to the liquor store or go to the airport. Um, I've been victimized at the airport. I've been missed flights. And there's really, in my opinion, no need for that. And, uh, what else did I want to say? I had a list there yesterday. <laughs> what did I talk about yesterday? <laughs> that was yesterday. You expect me to remember that? <laughs> I guess I'll talk a little bit more about uh, myself and Jacob and a few others were out here last November. Transgender. Uh, sadly, the community is recognized for Transgender Day of Remembrance every year. We remember those who are dead, but it's, it's evolving into let's let, let's take a look at the living ones. And uh, at that the time we proclaimed human rights for trans people, there was an outspoken person in Springdale uh, who wrote a letter to the editor of the paper out there. Um, Obviously, just wasn't familiar with what trans people were at all. So I said, I'm going to Springdale and I'm bringing three or four trans people with me. And we're going to have a little meet and greet with the community. And uh, don't go there, you're going to get killed. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> Everyone loved it. It was well received. And we said, well, since we're going to go to Springdale, let's pop into Gander, let's pop into Grand Falls, Clarenville. And, and we met with people in pretty much every community. And it was just a great opportunity, I think, to as is pride as a whole, to uh, create a safe space where members of the LGBT communities can uh, either come out and be surrounded by, I guess, like-minded family, friends, allies in the safe space, or to be the allies to come and support their family, their friends, their neighbors, their barbers, their whoever's. I was amazed when I first discovered I was trans. I was like, I'm gonna have to tell people this. And it's like, oh yeah, I know somebody who did that. I'm like, really? Wow. And there's, there's a lot more people out there than may be obvious. And I guess now the challenge is getting people out of the closets, especially in the smaller towns. If you're not going to come out, I'll come out. And you can listen to me speak and see me. And we can see we've only got 10, 12, 74 people here today. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, Good man. it's all about, as <laughs> Lucas, we were saying, it's building. Yeah, maybe next year we'll see a few more people, and then more people, and more people. And pretty soon we won't need the plunkers anymore. Yes. <laughs> um, so I guess in closing, uh, thank you for having us and welcoming us with open arms. And it's an honor to be here. And uh, know that there is a, a fairly large LGB anti community in the St. John's area. And there's a lot of people that are interested in reaching out. And uh, we were talking there about earlier about not having a lot of formal LGBT organizations available or out there, and maybe we need to create one right here. Uh, by Gander, what do you call it? Something from Gander. Gander right. Gander right. Created by Gander rights for Gander rights. <laughs> and uh, I guess I'll stop rambling. Cause, uh, <laughs> but I appreciate it. Is, is there anyone else that would like to say a few words or talk about why they're here or what? A, st a fun story or anything? <laughs> You can clap for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glad to take that. <laughs> I just want to thank everyone for coming out today. Uh, this is the third Pride Week. We've got here Gander again, a few more people here this year, and two town councillors, which is two more than we had last year. And nobody last year. Center for being open to LGB and especially to because there's a lot of feminine movements that aren't so trans feminine. So and thank you for coming out.
Okay, so. Um, we have some extra flags so if anyone wants to. Come on down, okay? She's got to go for more than that. Doing the camera back? Yeah, I don't know. I just stand it. It's dead? No, it's still there.